Now we've mentioned Dynamesh before and uh, using that in conjunction with Sculptress. One area where Sculptress kind of shines is if we go in here to Project and we say grab this demo female head and let's go ahead and turn off that floor. We have Sculptress Plus mode turned on and we have no subdivision history so we're able to just start sculpting on the fly. Now if I want to add say more detail to these lips what I can do is I can go in here with my Damien standard brush and I can actually go through here and smooth it first again just kind of prepping this area so I can have more detail and then we can immediately just go through here and use my Let's crank up the Z intensity. I do want to smooth out these lips a bit as I'm adding tessellation. There we go. And now we can go through here and start adding all the resolution we want in this area. Now previously what we might have had to do is, like I said before, go to geometry, maybe Dynamesh this, and now you can start adding resolution. Now the problem with that is with Dynamesh, if I hold down Shift to Smooth, you're going to see it basically closed our mouth. If we undo back to before we did Dynamesh, if I keep hitting Control Z until Dynamesh turns off, you're gonna see if I hit W and then hold down Control and drag on that face, I can go through here with my Move Brush, or better yet, let's use our Move Brush and then go to our Brush Settings. If you don't have your Brush Settings open, just double click this area over here where the two arrows are, go to Brush, drag it over. You can hit R to clear this out a little bit. Go to Auto Masking and do Topological and change that range down to like 1.5. And now what you can do is you can move these upper and lower lips separately. So even though we've added detail and we've had Sculptors Plus mode uh, turned on to dynamically tessellate in these areas, they're still technically separate. So you can see we can move these lips independently. Same thing with fingers. Anything that's close together where Dynamesh, so for example, if we go ahead and just Dynamesh this, you're going to see it's going to stick everything together. Um, you can increase the resolution to where it won't stick, but even in the corners, it is gonna stick those together. With Sculptors Plus mode, these things will never stick together because Sculptors Plus keeps the geometry separate. So you can go through here and smooth that out, and now you can go back in, and you don't have to worry about things sticking together. You can also go through here, and you can say Snake Hook, and we can control paint this area, control tap to invert that area, and now we can just use our snake hook, so BSH to grab your snake hook brush, and you can go ahead and snake hook something down, and you can have it interpenetrate the mesh, like so. And then if we control drag to unmask, we can go through here and we can hold down shift to smooth, and these things will always be separate. If I hit W and control drag on this object, and let's go ahead and turn on X symmetry, because I'm gonna make sure X symmetry is turned on. Control drag with gizmo selected, and now I can go through here and I can rotate this back out, and these things aren't going to be uh, together. Of course, with Dynamesh, if we Dynamesh these, these are going to be stuck together, um, but it's going to Dynamesh the entire object in one resolution. Now, one thing you can do, if you do want these to actually be stuck together, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. You can hit W, go into this gear icon, and do Remesh by Union. Oh, sorry, get out of this. Tap X to go out of symmetry mode temporarily. Do remesh by union. That'll go ahead and remesh this entire object as a union. We'll go ahead and go back in here, hit accept, and then we'll hit X to go across X symmetry again. Let's turn off polyframe. Hit Q to go into draw mode. And now when I shift to smooth these, you're gonna see these are now connected. So instead of dynameshing the entire object and losing my detailed areas versus my non-detailed areas, you can do a remesh by union and stick these objects together. Another area this might come in handy is say with the standard brush here, you can sculpt and if you go in here to depth, you can turn gravity strength up. So as you're sculpting, it'll go ahead and turn gravity on so you can kind of sculpt folds and it'll pull down as you're sculpting. And then you can use inflate and you can inflate these back up so you can do cloth folds or fat folds. And if we go down here to auto masking with topological on, Again, you can have this geometry interpenetrating itself and it'll never stick together unless you want to dynamesh it together. So you always have a very harsh transition. And even if you want to Z remesh this, we'll go ahead and skip ahead a little bit again. We'll hit W. Let's go ahead and turn off X symmetry, hit the gear, do remesh by Z remesher. And then up here where it says target polygon count, we'll drag this down and it will say 50 is fine. I'm sorry, not, not 50. Let's, uh, so we're looking at 85 active. Let's go ahead and go down to like 45,000. And if we're happy with that result, we'll go ahead and hit accept. 
and you're going to see back here, if we hit Q to go back into draw mode, that Ziri mesh these, let's go ahead and turn Sculptor's mode off, it Ziri mesh these just fine, they're stuck together, and if we go to the back here, when it Ziri meshed, it kept in, in mind that this fold went up and in, it didn't stick together, let's turn the intensity back to 100, it didn't stick these objects together, so this fold is Ziri meshed, so that there is actual geometry up underneath there. 